JFK Files show J. Edgar Hoover said, convince the public that Oswald is assassin. Almost 54 years after President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, a treasure trove of information surrounding the case has now been released. This past week, the Trump administration released a stack of documents that have never been seen by the general public. Over 3,000 previously secret papers were unveiled. And some of them raise intriguing questions about how the government operates. One such file has revealed that FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover was desperate to crush any alternative timelines or conspiracy theories about JFK's assassination, and pushed the government to convince the public of Lee Harvey Oswald's guilt. In order to do that, the larger-than-life lawmen urged officials to issue their findings as quickly as possible. Even though the investigation was presumably very much still underway. There is nothing further on the Oswald case except that he is dead, Hoover wrote in a memo just hours after Oswald was himself shot by nightclub owner Jack Ruby. The thing I am concerned about, and so is, Deputy Attorney General, Mr. Katzenbach, is having something issued so we can convince the public that Oswald is the real assassin, the FBI director continued, according to a CBS News report. There are a few ways to interpret this fascinating memo. The first is that Hoover and the FBI had their doubts about Oswald being the lone gunman, but decided to push this narrative in order to keep public inquiry at bay. That's certainly the angle that many skeptics take. In fact, a solid 61% of Americans believe that Oswald didn't act alone, a 2013 CBS News poll found. The other way to look at the newly revealed Hoover memo is that the director was simply trying to put the matter to rest before alternative theories could begin to flow. That wouldn't necessarily mean that the FBI doubted Oswald's guilt. Believing that he was the lone shooter while also being wary of conspiracy theories are not necessarily mutually exclusive. However, what this new memo does make clear is that government agents, including the legendary head of the FBI, had no problem having something issued before the investigation was complete, in order to convince the public of an officially approved narrative. That's very different from following the facts regardless of where they lead, and believing that the truth was the most important factor. For example, if contrary information was discovered after this memo was written, it would be in the FBI's interest to not reveal the new facts to the public. Otherwise, bureau investigators would look like they jumped the gun, if you'll pardon the expression, and would seem incompetent or worse. Once a narrative was issued from the top, it makes sense that the Bureau would continue to toe that line. This Hoover revelation also has interesting implications in light of modern crimes, such as the October 1st mass murder in Las Vegas. As with Oswald, investigators insist that gunman Stephen Paddock acted alone. Us like this decades-old memo, it seems that a narrative was quickly pushed despite the fact that countless questions remain and constant revisions to the official story seem contradictory and confusing. It's been said that patriots love their country but distrust their government. In many ways, that is accurate and healthy. The United States was founded on the principle that humans are fallible, and power has a tendency to corrupt. It is possible to respect law enforcement officers while being wary of uniformed bureaucracy. Americans can be proud of their country's great accomplishments while also acknowledging that power often leads men astray. The late J. Edgar Hoover is a stark reminder of that fact. The day JFK died, November 22, 1963, was a turning point for the United States, and there are many lessons to be learned from that era even half a century later. Like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you find this previously secret piece of history fascinating. Fascinating.